Hi and welcome back. My name is Deneen. You can call me Dee. I'm an astrologer and I teach people the psychology behind marketing. And today we're going to hop into Pluto in the third house. So let's go. Now, Pluto in the third house, let's talk about it. Now, Pluto in the third house is super powerful in the fact that the focus is on the mental faculties of the person and it's even more focused on how this person is one, communicating in this lifetime, and two, indexing or categorizing information in this lifetime, okay? Now, Pluto in the third house, <laughs> every single time I think of it, I immediately think of Sneaky Pete, like Pete from Sneaky Pete, when he totally took over his inmate's life, you know, once he was released before his inmate, and all the details that his inmate had told him, he basically used that information so that he can infiltrate his life and make a life for himself, okay? And even in the fact before he was caught or in the process of getting caught, he still made himself a power player in his environment, so much to the point that the real Pete, okay, that was related to the family, they didn't even want Pete back. <laughs> they wanted to keep Sneaky Pete, okay? Also, when I think about this, I think of Raymond Reddington from Blacklist. If you've never watched the show before, Blacklist is very much about them catching criminals that people wouldn't know about, the public wouldn't know about because they wouldn't be able to tell what was being done because of the manipulation of the information and the facts inside of the case itself. And I think that is very indicative of Pluto in the third house because Raymond Reddington he was so good in the fact that he didn't just take this information he used it in a way that it made him powerful in his environment not, not just knowing the person that bakes your bread but knowing the person that shines your shoes okay and the person who shines the shoes for the person that bakes your bread all right so that type of thing when you have Pluto in the third house and the reason, that I'm messaging, eh, the reason that I'm mentioning this is when you have Pluto in the third house, it is very powerful the way that you categorize and the way that you index information. All right, you have this information and structures of this information that you're coming here in this lifetime to really master. All right, so you might get drawn into details or some a certain fact or detail that you're observing, and that takes you down a huge rabbit hole, okay? Now, I want you to pay attention to if you have any planets inside of the ninth house that is sitting opposite or, or directly opposite this Pluto in the third house because it's going to read into and tell you more about the why, all right? So the emphasis that you have in this lifetime on a, a specific way of categorizing information, a specific way of communicating, all right? And usually when Pluto's in the third house, what I've noticed is when Pluto is in the third house, but it's more towards the beginning of the third house, going more next to the second house, the ending of the second house, it's very much indicative of talent, okay? And the talent that this person has to communicate, all right? Now, when it's Pluto in the third house and it's more towards the IC, I see that this person could have a way of indexing or categorizing information that needs to, one, very much be uh, digged into more, but on a bigger level, like they're knowing this information, they have to actually bring it to a different uh, source outside of themselves and relay this information so that people can understand and also be able to categorize this information as well but just in a different way that could have been revealed by the Pluto in the third house person all right now I'm gonna hop into some of the examples of Pluto in the third house all right now some examples of Pluto in the third house is Carl Jung, Celine Dion, uh, Justin Timberlake, and Robert F. Kennedy now in the case of Carl Jung and Robert F. Kennedy they have their Pluto in the third house going more towards their IC and Celine Dion and Justin Timberlake have their Pluto in the third house going more towards the second house. Now when Pluto is in the third house and it's more at the beginning of the third house rather than at the end towards the IC, I can definitely see this being more so about the emphasis in this lifetime being on this powerful way of communicating because it's more closer to the second house especially if it's in or within five degrees okay now that is further putting the emphasis on that communication coming from this person themselves okay versus Pluto going more towards the fourth house 
the endings and beginnings, okay? But Pluto going more towards the fourth house that I see, where it's giving more of the emphasis on this lifetime being on a way of indexing information and categorizing information, okay? And it can also be a way of communicating in F. Kennedy's case, Robert F. Kennedy's case, a way of communicating that is for your nation, <laughs> okay? It's for your nation in you're taking up a position of power on a bigger scale, on a bigger field. But you see that from the aspects, okay, involved, and not just necessarily Pluto in the third house being closer to the IC, okay? <laughs> so always check the aspects, all right? Always check the aspects, but that is the thing that I've, I've noticed, all right? Now, Pluto in the third house is also, as I said, the emphasis being on the mental faculty, so this person can be very, very intelligent, okay? They can be very intelligent in the way that they communicate information, in the way that they communicate in general, but they can be also very intelligent in the fact of the way that they are reading the environment. And when I say reading the environment, that does include you. <laughs> that does include you, okay? And this is more so in the sense that they can read into body language. Yes. Reading into body language. Yes, and seeing the cues that are being said from the body versus the cues that are being said from you verbally. Okay? So this is this is them being able to go underneath the radar in their immediate environment and in the way that they're communicating having a conversation with a person okay and being able to catch information details that other people would have missed in the ninth house whatever is sitting in the ninth house is giving more of the emphasis on the why behind why this person has this focal point on this specific set <laughs> of on a specific set of information that they're focused in on, okay? Why they're going so hard for this. The why, if you look over and you have aspects there, the why, and you can discover, look more into the why from the ninth house, okay? Because the ninth house, it really wants you to have a bigger picture, okay? <laughs> of whatever is happening in the third house, all right? And the bigger picture is, in fact, that why. But here are the details that you have to get into <laughs> in order for you to get to that why. All right. So in the third house, what it is that this person can be very good at obser observing, okay, can be very knowledgeable on, there's more than likely a reason behind that, especially if there are planets in the ninth house. Okay. And Pluto in the ninth, ah, Pluto. <laughs> Pluto inside of the third house, it gives a lot of energy to what it is that you say, such in the fact that you, your words can come out to be sharp. <laughs> your words can come out to be sharp, especially if you have in a planet like Mercury here, okay? Your words can come out to be sharp, even if that is not your intention to do so, okay? Also, with Pluto in the third house, this can be disruptive to the way the person is thinking, the person's thought, thinking patterns, okay? And the reason for this is very much about you having a different way of communicating, okay? Communication is, a communication is not just the communication that you do one-to-one -one with a person. Communication is the information, okay, that a person is able to be aware of an intake from their environment, <laughs> okay? And the environment is not just external, the environment is internal, all right? So the dialogue that these people have, what it is that they're saying to themselves, it can, it can take on a, a dark spin sometimes, but in this same factor, in this same manner, this person being able to master their mental faculties gives them the power to regulate, okay, their environment 
internally and because they can regulate their environment internally underneath the surface okay and surrendering to the fact that not every thought that pops up in your head is going to be the best thought ever but not every thought that pops up in your head is for you to freaking own <laughs> okay and uh, Pluto in the third house is great at teaching you that and the fact that the internal environment that you're able to create with Pluto in the third house you're able to exert this outside of yourself over time as as Pluto is natally in one place when you're born but of course it moves all right and it enacts a way of popping your bub bubble or your ego image around what it is that's being communicated to you what it is that you're communicating all right what you're intaking in <laughs> okay in your immediate environment what you're internalizing so these these are important things that are emphasized here with pluto inside of the third house okay and pluto being in your third house is very powerful because once you're able to master that inner dialogue once you're able to master this information it is that you're diving into you become very powerful from that information that you have and you're able to hold and find you're able to see that information as a way of you being able to help others by giving them a different perspective through that one piece of information okay through those important under the cover under the radar observations you're able to do this and also Pluto in the third house when the emphasis is on your speech communicating you can communicate with a person speak to a person and it'd be very changing to the way that they see the world the perspective okay the overall bigger picture that they were seeing all right and Pluto in the third house is really for you to have a strong solid <laughs> and completely different image of what is being communicated to you and what you can communicate in this lifetime and that comes in depending on the aspects here to your Pluto that comes in different ways the way that this will be shown to you in your personal life but it's meant to break down your mental faculties and build them back up okay in a way that makes you powerful, in a way that you haven't seen yourself before in lifetimes that came before you, okay? And that, my friends, is Pluto in the third house. So if you have Pluto in the third house and this is your placement, please comment down below and let me know if any of these are true for you, okay? And if this resonated with you, make sure that you hit that like button. And if you don't want to ever miss out on anything that I post, especially about astrology, make sure you hit that subscribe and make sure you hit the bell, all right? The notification bell so you don't ever say YouTube didn't notify you, all right? So thank you guys so much. I love and I appreciate everybody that's here all the time supporting me. And I have a lot more things I'm working on behind the scenes. Don't worry. I'm building that momentum. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much. I love and appreciate you guys. And I'll be seeing you guys later.